Hi students. In this video we're going to go over creating an actual 3D printed part from our SOLIDWORKS file. Let's begin. You can see on the screen in front of me I have this nice little light shield and I'd like the 3D print club to actually 3D print that for me. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to output something called an STL file. STL stands for stereolithography. So I'm going to click on File, Save As. I have a folder on my desktop where I'm going to put my output file. And instead of saving it as a part, we're going to save it as an STL format. So I can see it's named it the same as my part file, lightshield2.stl, and we'll hit Save. Now you can see SOLIDWORKS divides up the object into a bunch of faceted faces. It asks if we want to save, so we'll say yes. And then back on our desktop, in the Turbine Challenge folder, we see LightShield2.stl. Okay, that's cool. So we could email this directly to the 3D Print Club through their portal and they would print it for us. We want to be a little bit more uh, helpful than that. Let's go over how they actually bring it into the system and slice it for printing. First thing you need to do is load the Cura slicing software. It's free. Just go to the Ultimaker website and download Cura. Once you have it all installed on your machine and start it up, it should look like this. You're going to want to set your machine. So the Ultimaker 2 Plus is what we have for the department printer. So if you're doing a print for a class or some uh, maybe challenge, something like that, some official function, you'll want to go with the 2 Plus. You'll choose your material, generic PLA. I would certainly touch base with the 3D Print Club, make sure the diameter of the nozzle is correct. And then over here, we have the options for how solid you would like the part. So we can set the percent infill, we can set any supports. We don't need supports for this one. We're doing a very simple part. So now let's actually bring in the little light shield. I'm going to say File, Open Files. I'll go to my desktop. I'll choose Light Shield 2. And it comes in. But notice, I'm rolling the mouse wheel. It doesn't come in in the correct orientation. So if I click on the part, Right now we can slide the part side to side, backward and forward, um, but this isn't really useful for us. Let's change the uh, method of moving to rotate. And you get these nice little circles. So if you put your mouse pointer right on the circles and rotate, once your face is parallel to the build bed, then you can release and it will automatically snap to the floor of the 3D printer. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm kind of liking that. Zoom back out. So I clicked in the white space to get rid of the, the rotation rings. And we can hit slice. So it says this part is going to take 21 minutes it's going to use three grams of filament and next we're going to save it to a removable uh, SD card so in my case drive D is my SD card and the G code has gone directly there I'll say eject and now I can remove my SD card and walk over to the 3D print club or alternately, if 
if I come down, oops, I've already ejected it. Let me. Well, and there's my Light Shield 2 G code. And this I could also send to the 3D Print Club. So that is how you go about converting a SOLIDWORKS part file to code that is ready to use by the 3D Print Club to actually make a 3D printed object. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I'll talk to you later.